Just back down to third man and Russell Crowe. Can Australia fight their way out of this position? Well, it's very difficult, but we, uh, I think, uh, you know, you look back to the first test and the people had written them off before England first finished batting and then they came out and, and showed some, some determination and some fire and four of the guys got century. So this is a, a horrible situation to be in, but the beauty of this game is it's five days long and uh, the opportunity for them to retake the motivation will come whether they're strong enough and good enough to take it at the time whether they see it and read it that way at the time that's going to be up to them it's particularly going to be up to i think ricky ponting keeping them focused on what it is they need to actually achieve in the next couple of days are you a ponting fan as a person and a cricketer um well you can't question ricky ponting as a cricketer and uh, I don't know him very well, well as a person. I, I think I've shaken his hand, but I have never really had a conversation with him, so I can't answer that. Um, but this is a big test for him. You know, it's a new part of his career as, as a cricketer and, and, and a captain to be uh, in, in an Australian team that, that doesn't have the big guns like, you know, Sparky over here and, and, and McGrath and, and people like that who can turn a match in, as an individual. So. Um, It'll be very interesting to see. I mean, everybody congratulated him uh, after the, the five test win against the, the, you know, the series win in South Africa. But uh, this is what's really important to every man, woman and child in Australia is the ashes. And uh, so whatever he might have achieved until this point is hanging in the balance, seeing how he's going to go right now. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, Cheers, mate. It's been great to have you up here. Much better than David Lloyd. In the third man seat. Better voice than David Lloyd. I never thought I'd hear myself saying that. Thank you, Russell Crowe. A great day for England. Hussey, the standout batsman with 51. That partnership between Hussey and Katic was crucial. Getting that breakthrough, a good catch from Broad. Good performances all the way through for England. Good fielding, good captaincy, good bowling. Jimmy Anderson, 17 overs, 4 for 36. Really did set the tone with Andrew Flint off this morning. Look at those maidens, 5, 4, 1, 1. All the bowls bowled well. It was really a, a polished display from England. They were all over Australia right from the word go. They made it difficult. They tested their techniques. It was just a wonderful performance so far. So the match summary, only two days gone remarkably in this match. We've had so much cricket. England, 425 runs for Strauss, Cook and Peterson. Wickets for Hilfenhaus, Johnson and Siddle. Australia in reply, struggling. 156 for eight. Runs for Hussey and Katic. Wickets for Anderson and Broad. So Australia are 269 runs behind.